Aquí está el doctor Frank Balliser, el responsable del programa 19 Spider de Porsche. Doctor Balliser, thank you very much for having us here now at the Circuit of the Americas. Uh, the last time I talked to you, we were at the Pebble Beach at the prototype uh, lawn, and uh, we were showing a car that at the prototype lawn, but it, it wasn't a prototype at the time. It was already a real car, right? Yeah, it's right. It was uh, one of our very first production cars, and uh, well, now we made, uh, have here the final car, what makes still a big difference and. Uh, Shows the final setup of everything, final software stages, and um, yeah, yeah, a fantastic car. We haven't, we are at the racetrack already. We haven't been in the car, but we've seen a few people going around, and uh, you guys been here testing it already. So obviously, you are the person in the world that knows most about this car. <laughs> so, give us your assessment. Uh, not only as the engineer, because I mean, obviously, I mean, you're in charge of that for a reason. But like a sports enthusiast of cars, what what, what do you you you, you think, can tell uh, us about this car? Well, maybe my personal experience now just yesterday here on the track and it's it's definitely I, I, I drove a lot with the car and uh, but it's every time it's a, a cool experience having that car here making a track like uh, in Austin uh, in full electric mode still extremely emotional very very special so cool having the open car rolling purely electric here around and then switching over to race mode and you have really a high performance car that, that soaks your blood out of your feet if you're accelerating um, what's what's a lot of fun in driving easiness of driving that's I think the most important thing of the car and well the performance figures just outstanding unbelievable yeah can you tell us about those those figures that there are a lot of uh, impressive numbers from yeah, the I, 9, I, 918 I, spider I think some of the most important are besides top speed of 240 miles per hour is, is definitely acceleration uh, with the four-wheel drive with these electric motors on board the acceleration is fantastically we're doing 0 to 60 in 2.5 seconds and a quarter mile in less than 10 seconds 9.9 seconds for a quarter mile that's definitely a big step and um, then of course what's I think the best number is the record on the Nürburgring uh, less than seven minutes uh, 657 for the Nordschleife, uh, what is a world record, never beaten, there's never been another car being so fast on this track. Um, well, that makes us proud and shows the potential of the car. Yeah. So, um, tell us a little bit about the development of the car. I mean, it's a first <coughs> super sports car with a plug-in hybrid system, 187 horsepower total system. And uh, I mean, it, tell us a little bit about the development of that. Well, the development um, for us, it was clear from day number one, it will be a plug-in hybrid when we consider the next generation of a super sports car. Um, also, it was very clear that we will have uh, two electric motors on board, one in the front axle, um, just for the potential of recuperation is in the front much higher than in the, only in the back. And uh, that we will have a, a big part of electric um, power in the car, so it's more than 280 horsepower, um, it's purely electric. And uh, then this high revving V8 engine, very, very emotional engine, up to 9,150 RPM uh, shifting speed, really, really great. And um, then we had a development time of a little bit more than three years, what is not a lot for such a car. Yeah. Um, we had a, a wonderful development team, uh, well, we worked night and day, 24 7, I have to say, um, to make the dream happen. Um, but with the result, we are extremely happy. The car looks great. Uh, the quality is, is extraordinary, outstanding look. And uh, we are more than happy with the performance of the car. Yeah, um, I heard that actually this program was started as a <laughs> an extra activity for you guys. It wasn't an official program at the beginning, like you, on your spare time, quote-unquote, yeah. if you have any of that. We st in the beginning... Exactly, it was a very small group in the beginning, starting uh, working on the program design-wise and preparing the show car and make a make a first technical, um, well, idea and layout of the car that definitely survived and it was really high quality. Uh, this decided within uh, two months wow. how the general layout of the car will be, and uh, well, it's track-proofed, it's perfectly working. And uh, this small group of 30 engineers really did a wonderful job uh, up to the presentation of the show car in Geneva. Yeah. And, um, I mean, obviously, I mean, the engineering, the design and all that, I mean, that, that's a lot of work. Uh, you were telling us last night that there's, for example, like 40,000 levels of electronics yeah. that yeah. have software that have to be confirmed and uh, to put it in perspective like a regular car like a 20 and a hybrid car like 15,000 is a regular car okay. 25,000 a hybrid car 40,000 
data labels only in the in the motor electronics. Oh, only on the only motor, the motor electronics. electronics. Wow. It's not the rest. Not we're don't, not talking about navigation and uh, radio and media players and uh, suspension system and so on. So, uh, complexity of the car of the car is really high. Uh, software plays an important role in a car like that, and uh, we are living in a world with a with a new rule book rule yeah. book for super sports cars. Um, if you consider the propulsion with uh, electric drives and, uh, of course, also the importance of software. Yeah. And uh, this car I was just uh, showing, uh, seeing you like in the cockpit, it has like all the, the most advanced electronics also, like navigation, like a, yeah. a, like almost a, a center console that almost operates like an iPhone. No, you can yes. expand the graphics yeah. and touch yeah. it. And yeah. that's like another aspect of it because the last uh, supercar, the, the Carrera GT, didn't have any of that. No, it had a radio. <laughs> <That was it. laughs> Why not? Yeah. Um, well, it was for us, it was also clear that if you're doing a car like that, we will really make a technology carrier in all aspects, not only drive train, not only fuel consumption, also in, in multimedia and uh, uh, showcasing how we think on the future of uh, the operation of a car, simplifying the use of a car, um, really going away from too much uh, switches and, and operation modes to yeah. make, a, make a simply using car, uh, really cool, I don't like the word, but a cool device, it's a car, it's not a device. Yeah. Um, but also to show things like that. And it's definitely not ex not expected in a super sports car, but it's something you can do in a low volume uh, segment and, and uh, as a testing uh, field for your engineers and that worked all out. Yeah, speaking of, uh, of the volume of sales, is 918 units. 918 units yeah. uh, worldwide, uh, nearly sold out, uh, few are left and... Uh, well, the customers are more than happy. They're waiting now for the car, so we have we yeah. have ramp up the production, what is ongoing at Zuffenhausen at the moment. And uh, I've been hearing a phrase here uh, repeatedly, like the, the future of sports cars with this uh, this particular <coughs> car, and like as you were saying, uh, ele electric power in, in the cars is like it's going to be necessary not only for super cars but everywhere. Yeah. So this is yeah. like a huge advancement. For, for yeah, for sure. It's, it's For Porsche it was a very important that we showcase that the technology works, uh, not only in a sedan, also in a sports car. Uh, and uh, of course we have now a, a big advantage in, in the knowledge of uh, how to develop a plug-in hybrid uh, sports car, super sports car. Um, as we just did it, we have two cars in the market, we can offer it, we, we know a lot on the technology and so we are ready to make the next generation. Yeah, and, and, and that technology is already trickled down to other models like the Panamera S, uh, S Hybrid? Exact, exactly, the, the Panamera SE Hybrid already shares some components of the, of the 918 Spider and uh, it will come down to other cars for sure, that's uh, one of the main purposes if you're doing a project like this is that other cars benefit from the technology, from the know-how of the engineers. Yeah. And what do you tell to people who are traditionalists and like want to see just 911s <laughs> with, with a gas engine and like they don't <coughs> believe maybe that this electric uh, technology and, and, and powertrains can really work in, in that kind of car? I think um, nobody trusted us in the beginning and saying uh, an electric motor is a good idea in a super sports yeah. car. It's too heavy and does it really help and we do not need it. Um, after they had a, a test ride with the car, opinions totally changed. Uh, most important thing is you have to, you cannot describe it. Um, you have to ride the car, you, you have to drive it, you have to feel it, and then you're normally totally convinced. I've never seen somebody who got out of the car and said, I don't need electric motors. <laughs> Most of them said I need more electric motors. Exactly. Where, where um, were they before? So, so it will it will take a time to to uh, not to convince people, just to give them a chance to ride a car yeah. like this. Um, second thing is, um, of course, we are mainly driven by by rules and homologations and by governments um, bringing down the limits for for greenhouse uh, uh, gas emissions, and we have to fulfill it, and we want to fulfill it. We have technical answers for that. Uh, we we showcased with the 918 that performance and driving pleasure is possible uh, with a very very good fuel consumption, and um, this is possible in one car. Yeah. And this is definitely our task for the future: is bringing down greenhouse uh, yeah. gas emissions. And uh, the 918 has an amazing uh, figure for that, right? Uh, yeah. For MPG, it's MPG is uh, 67 miles per gallon uh, <laughs> on pure electric and, and 22 on on the combustion engine only. What is 
unbelievable. Uh, you know. If, if you it, consider it, 10 years ago, it was yeah. even... And, and, and the person saying unbelievable is the person who developed the thing. Yeah. So just <laughs> like for regular people like yeah. us, it's yeah. just like even more. Yeah. Uh, and one last thing, I mean, Porsche has been uh, in that a trend of uh, convincing or like demonstrating to people what things can be done. Most people didn't like the Cayenne at the beginning. Most people, some people <coughs> didn't like the Panamera, but like I think they're like huge successes now. At, at the end of the day, the market decides and the customer decides. And uh, if you look at the sales of Panamera, Panamera is e-hybrid. Um, it's the first car in the market uh, was featuring that technology. Are very very happy with the market share of the car. Um, if you're looking at Cayenne, that's uh, one of the biggest success stories in in the automotive yeah. industry. Um, and still the sports cars are, are very strong, uh, they are the heart of our brand uh, and um, yeah, success is, at the end of the day it counts what, what the market decides and, yeah, and the market can, says we are doing the things right. Yeah, you can argue against success yeah. and uh, you have another one big coming like with the Macan. The Macan will come and I think, uh, well, uh, the market will decide and <laughs> <laughs> I have it's an already idea, decided, I, think. I, I have an idea how it will uh, <laughs> how it will work and uh, that the customers will be totally happy with that car. It's a wonderful car, it's driving really like a sports car uh, and uh, designing is an uh, unbelievable nice car. Exactly. So it will well, be successful. Dr. Frank Walliser, uh, head of the 918 uh, Spider Porsche project, thank you very much for your time and uh, for sharing your knowledge and, 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 and being here with us and uh, we're going to go out and enjoy the car in the track. Thank you very much. Thank you. Ya regresamos aquí en Auto 060 en Cristina Radio Network para seguir hablando del Porsche 19 Spider desde el circuito de las Américas en Austin, Texas. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.